Let me start with a bit of history. In 1866, the English doctor John Landon Down described a type of intellectual disability, which he called Mongolism. Later, these expressions were considered inappropriate and some alternatives were proposed, such as trisomy 21 or Down syndrome as we know it today. Down syndrome is one of the most frequent alterations of the chromosome of the human species. Chromosomes are the structures that are located inside the cell and contain genetic information. Although Down syndrome is associated with an intellectual disability, we should not take the intellectual quotient as the only learning indicator of the individual. It is necessary to make a neuropsychological profile. A neuropsychological evaluation allows us to measure aspects such as general intellectual capacities, learning abilities, memory capacities, language development, attention, concentration, among many others. Down syndrome is an alteration characterized by an excess of chromosomal material in pair 21. But what does this mean? As I said before, chromosomes are structures that are located inside the cell and contain genetic information. In the picture, we have an example of a normal male karyotype. A karyotype is a representation of all chromosomes in the cell. This karyotype is described as 46XY. 46 are the total number of chromosomes in a cell. 46 chromosomes are normal in human, and XY uh, are the sex chromosomes for male. This means that the somatic cells of a human being contain 46 chromosomes. And in the Down syndrome, we observe an alteration in the pair 21. This chromosomal alteration has three variants. The first one is primary trisomy 21. The second one is trisomy by translocation and the third one is trisomy by mosaic. But what is a trisomy? A trisomy is a situation in which we have three chromosomes of the same type. In, instead of the pair that we can observe in a normal situation. As we can see in the picture, we observe two pairs of chromosomes in each position of the karyotype. Next, I will talk just a little about this alteration that we found in Down syndrome. Uh, I'm going to start with the primary trisomy 21. In the picture, we have an example of primary trisomy 21. The karyotype show us an extra copy of the chromosome 21. In position 21, we see two chromosomes of the pair and also an extra chromosome. That is why it's called trisomy. We have three chromosomes. Primary trisomy 21 is the most frequent alteration since it appears in most people who has Down syndrome. The second one is trisomy by translocation. A chromosome translocation is an alteration in the structure of the chromosome, characterized by the exchange of segments between non-homologous chromosomes. The non-homologous chromosomes are those that are not members of the same chromosomal pair. In the picture, we have an example of translocation. The karyotype presents 46 chromosomes, as in normal in human species, but in one of the members of the pair of chromosomes, a longer arm is detected. We see that in position 14, there is a chromosome with a longer arm it can be verified that the extra genetic material belongs to pair 21. For this reason, it's said 
that in chromosomal translocation, there is an exchange of segments. In our example, genetic material has been exchanged from pair 21 with pair 14. Now we have a trisomy by mosaic. A mosaic system is an alteration, a genetic alteration, in which in the same individual, two or more population of cells with different uh, genetic composition coexist. Now we have a situation in which mosaicism can happen. For example, we have a zygote that has received 47 chromosomes since its beginning, where we know that the normal is 46 chromosomes, and in successive cell division, some cells have lost the extra chromosome and some have not. The result in this case will be an individual with a body with some cells with 46 chromosomes and another cells with 47 chromosomes. That is the reason why this kind of trisomy is called mosaic. The symptoms that can be originated by mosaicism can be very variable since the phenotype that is the expression of the genes will depend on how many and uh, which organs are affected by the trisomy. For this reason we can observe different kinds of phenotype. For example, we can observe children without the typical facial feature of Down syndrome. We have also cases with and uh, without heart disease. This variability is also observed in the development of the brain. That is one of the reasons why we have different levels of intellectual disabilities. This was a global view about some genetic alterations found in Down syndrome.